Okay, um... First of all, welcome back to the family live stream or channel. Um, I'm a little lost and confused um, still about what happened. It still bothers me and it's going to take me a little while to get past that. But anyway, um... I've got a serious, well, I wouldn't say serious. I, would, I, got a, I got an issue, and I am asking out for help. Um, Tim, listen, you've done enough for us, okay? I'm not going to, you've got a lot of things on your plate right now, and I'm not going to ask you, but I'm asking that, you know, people other than you because it should just take someone that's uh in a more understanding part now i know a lot of you out there not including you tim because you're out of the picture on this okay and what i'm about to say i want you to know this is not about you okay um what i'm about to do is i'm about to put something out there for everybody to understand okay When you go through a situation like this, and you literally, yes, my teeth are yellow, so what if you don't like it? Oh, well. Um, if you literally think that, you know, you're better, it states in the Bible that I've read off of YouTube uh, that the trials and tribulations are here. What it states in this scripture is actually happening. What people are doing, all right? And <laughs> it saddens me. I see people walking by my van. They know I'm needing help. And they're just literally walking by my van saying, screw it. So, I'm going to say this, since no one has taken me serious, I'm not going to take nobody else serious when they get in my face. I'm not going to take nobody else serious when they look at my wife weird or look at me weird. I'm not going to take nobody else serious when they say I need to get out of here. I'm just going to blow it off like... <coughs> I'm going to be just like John Cena on that. This is me and this is who I am. I'm tired of being ran over. Tired of being neglected, rejected. But yet I see you people out there taken. Homeless out here. Off the streets. I've seen... Bringing them in, giving them a home. But you can't do it for someone like us. So here's my little dealio about that. Did you know over half the people that are homeless that are being taken off the streets and given a home or put in shelters or basically mainly taking them in is on drugs and they're not even telling you or they are telling you and refusing to get off of them or you're accepting it and letting them stay. They're probably the ones stealing from you lying to you, and much more. Now, me and my wife have been living out here on these streets, and we may not have lived in uh, San Francisco all that much, but we know a lot more about San Francisco within a short amount of time than most of the people that has been living here in San Francisco. I 
I could tell you exactly within the past, on how many years, how many people has been killed, suicides, or thefts, what's been going on downtown. Now you think, may think this is crazy, but if you actually come to San Francisco and you drive, drive around in San Francisco on the outskirts, right there on the edges of downtown, on the edges, I guarantee you, if you look closely, you're going to start seeing cracks. You want to know why? Because that part of downtown, a law enforcement officer told me this as well, out of his own mouth, and that is bad. Downtown's about to go right into the bay. And it's bad that a law enforcement officer, a peace officer, has to admit that. I gotta jump in the back real quick and take care of something. But I'll still be talking. Careful, baby. I am. Now, even though you can't see me right now, it's sad that one of your own peace officers, as you saw yesterday, that came out and done a welfare check on me now. are telling me information that is going on downtown. Then they're not even telling their own city. Now, I want you to ask yourselves, why? Why would he, why would these officers tell him something and not us? Why would these officers tell us something that, or tell him something that uh, the city doesn't even know? You want to know why? I could tell you why. Because there are officers that are in that police department that have tons of respect for me, guys. And I should tell you, no matter if I was housed or, what? or homeless, they got so much respect for me, it's not even funny. I know more about this city than y'all do. I know more about what's going on in this city than y'all do. There's probably things that I even know that the mayor don't even know about. Hell, there's probably things I know about that the governor don't even know about, nor the president. What I'm trying to get to people is this. For 42 years on this earth, never in my life would I ever think I would get so much respect out of the police alone. Because you got a lot of tyrants out there. And honestly, out of the whole United States of America, out of the land of the free, 
As they call it. As they call it, <laughs> my wife says. <laughs> it's silly. What are you trying to live for? That. You can work some more day if you need to. I got this. A homeless person. <laughs> and there's probably none out there. And if there is, it's very, very few. And I mean a very few. That is respected as much as I am. By law. And if I'm respected by law enforcement, that means anything I have that I know in my head, on my heart, it's not crazy stuff. It's stuff that you need to know that's going to happen in your future. Once you go back to the Bible days, now I want you to think about what I'm saying. Because when it comes to things that needs to be known that you don't know, you're going to need to know to save you. Call me crazy if you want. No, I you. don't care. The Bible speaks for itself. It isn't that I don't care, and really, truly, I don't. But if you look at everything in the Bible, if you go through and read everything in the Bible, carefully, carefully, you will see where it says. I don't know, for some reason, God laid this upon my heart. God told me to tell you guys to be prepared. As for the pastors and the churches, you're using the temples of God as a business. Remember what Jesus did to the temples when they were using it as a business? He destroyed it when he was still alive. And then what did he do after he died? Cracked everything right in half. Undoubtedly, y'all lost that focus. I've been to many of these churches here in San Francisco. I have called son. One church helped me with maybe a couple of hundred bucks a while back. And that was it. But I'm being told there's Catholic churches that help out with a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars. To help people get into uh, get somewhere, or mm -hmm. to get food, or whatever. Not yet have I seen it. I think what they're doing is helping people 
They already have a place to live. I've noticed through all out biblical, my 42 years of being on this earth, never have I thought this would ever happen. And I would see it with my own eyes. As soon as I started seeing it, my eyes, I started paying more attention. Like that. And then I realized. People will have their picks and choose on who they think should be survivor or who they think should die. Who they think is worthy and who they think is not. A couple of weeks ago I had a talk with a police officer. Before I get to that, I'll come back to that, okay? Uh, the police officer told me That Billy, we have respect for you a whole lot, along with the park rangers, U.S. park rangers, U.S. police department. We're basically the only ones that do have respect for you, along with this little community. I said, okay, what's going on? He said out of his own mouth, I'm starting to see some negative faces towards you. Not by us or law enforcement, but by the people. And then all of a sudden I read this on the YouTube page. How people want me to kill myself. That I think I should die. That I, they think I should die and more. I don't deserve my wife and a lot more. It's coming together. Am I a prophet? No, as far as I know, I'm not. Am I a descendant of one of the seven disciples? I don't know. Am I a descendant of uh, 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 John the Baptist? I don't know. I know nothing about my Cherokee and English family history. Now I know for a fact that the family line goes down in different countries because the blood is mixed. I've seen that. I read a story or I watched a YouTube uh, a video about a story about this girl. <coughs> she was white. But she had a distant great great grand from back a long time. He was long gone. Who was black. She was a descendant in his family line. Need I remind you, God placed us on this earth. And need I remind you, he separated people and gave them different languages. They started speaking in tongues of different languages. You can read the Bible yourself. You'll see. You can find out. Go read it. Now think about it. It also states in the Bible that there will be diseases and more in the future. <laughs> now, a long time ago, there was this one big disease called the leprosy. Am I correct? Of course I am. Now there was a disease like that was killing thousands of people, just like the leprosy did.
Now, people, let me ask you a question. From everything that has been told, everything that it seems, everything that has been come to, everything that you have seen out of your own eyes and heard out of your own ears, think about it for a second. Leave me comments. Because my wife is right here. She, she can agree with me. How do we know this is not biblical prophecy of the leprosy returning in another form of disease? Think about it. And they called it the COVID. Coronavirus. Now, let me ask you this right here. Corona. <coughs> Couldn't they come up with a different name other than the name of a beer? Yes. My wife just said it. Now, with that being said as well, that's another sign. Corona virus, COVID-19. COVID. Corona, the beer. Everything has a connection to it. How do you know that some unlucky person picks up the right case of Corona beer and they drink it and they catch the virus? How do I know that they're not actually putting it into the beer? But some people, a lot of people's immune system is just too strong. It fights it and kills it. But you got a lot of them that are unlucky. And those ones are already passed. People think about it now. Come on. You got people out here that are honest that are true, that are staying out of trouble, cops respect them, and people around are starting to respect. But not enough respect to be able to take somebody in. 1,133 dollars does not last long. My boot stamp's been cut completely, I can't get them no more. They won't give them to me. Under these circumstances, I bet you there's a lot of things out there that's been happening to people that don't make no sense. And I know that most of you know I'm right. I mean, think about it. Just sit back and think about it when you watch this video. There are a lot of things out there that is not making any sense. That is popping up. Am I right? Now, this money stimulus program, giving out money. We haven't gotten our second, third, fourth, fifth, however many checks. We haven't gotten them. Because if we would have, we wouldn't be right here where we're at now. We'd have a better vehicle. Or we would have an apartment. Now, with that being said as well, how many others has gotten their checks? People, these are strange times, okay? And I know. Look at that. 
a girl, my wife is watching YouTube and a girl is singing Amazing Grace. That's a blessing to hear. Now, whether you like me or not, I really, really don't care. Whether you support it or not, I don't care anymore. But I will be successful. Yes, there's going to be times where I'm going to break down and cry because of what happened. I have no choice but to give up my dream because I, I, I can't, I have no way to get there. And most of all, I have no decent clothes to wear. I'm not walking in what I have and they're looking at me disgust. No. And I damn sure ain't getting on these buses. Not the way they drive. Not the way they drive. And I know there's a lot of you that agree with that with bus drivers. Driving like crazed lunatics, uh, jacked up on crack or something. Not caring if they hit pedestrians or homeless. Mainly homeless. You think that people are going to want to witness a bus driver hitting somebody? And they see him splat all over the window? Hell, that'll give them nightmares. I'm not on here to try to become a mayor, a president, a, a, a governor, or anything. I'm here because I'm trying to make a point that I deserve to have what is rightfully for me and my family to get it back. I've done shown in my past videos not only pictures of uh, my girls. I've done told you about my dogs and gave you the, gave the list of names of my dogs. Told you our situation. And, and quite frankly, I'm changing my lifestyle and I'm starting to do this. And my wife likes this. She likes the new me. We got a new bunny. All we ask for is for respect. And a place to live. And a place to live. But just to get all this back. Really? I mean, how hard is that? That's why I put in my videos, if you don't like me, tell me. If you don't want me on here, tell me. Otherwise, as my wife said, she's going to continue making me do the videos. And the only reason she's not up here right now is because she really doesn't like being filmed a lot. I know a lot of people aren't that out there aren't that ignorant. And I know there's people here in San Francisco that has the heart enough to be able to take us in, but they're too scared to because they're afraid of how their friends are going to look at it. Why should it matter about what your friends think? What? Because uh, you're trying to be like them and you're afraid they'll judge you? Who cares? I've had many, many people tell me, you're going to hang out with that person? Yeah, is there a reason why you're telling me not to? Well, they're this and this and this and this. You know, we're better than that. I ain't better than nobody. If you don't like who I hang out with and who I talk to, you can move on. You, there's the road, Jack. And you want to know what they do? They wind up walking. Find it. If you're going to talk with someone like that right there, you're not going to part of our crew. Hey, that's fine with me. I talk to everybody. Now, there are people that I talk to and all of a sudden I get a negative vibe from. And when I get that negative vibe, I hear, I hear him talking to me. Get away now. Danger. Right here, he talks to me in my heart. Get away now. 
danger. I, dude, I can't talk no more. Listen, I'm sorry, but I got to go. I got to take care of my wife. Or I'd say that, or I just walk. Hey, man, where are you going? I got to get going, dude. Or sometimes, depending on the situation, I just tell them straight up. Listen, man. Or listen, lady. Right now, the Holy Spirit is telling me to get away from you. Something's not right about you. Something is definitely not right about you. So I can't talk. I think what you need to do is you need to go to a church and you need to get whatever is inside of you out of you. A demon, whatever it is, you need to get it all out of you. I never see that person again. Until maybe sometimes, once or twice, lay way later on down the road. And they're not the same person. Sometimes they got worse, violent, or distant, or sometimes they just, they're back to normal. And when they show me a marking on their body where they got scratched or whatever, I'm thinking, whoever it was from this demon out of her. People, there are demons out there entering people body, people's body, and you may think it's a hoax, a joke, whatever it is. But there are people, there are people out there being possessed. I've seen YouTube videos, and yes, it is real, very much real. It's not graphically done. I've actually seen it with my own eyes. One person sitting there, and they're all fine and dandy, and they're normal. Next thing you know, I'm looking over, and the eyes totally changed the appearance the vibes everything or not the vibes but the spirit the negativity coming off of them the Bible also states that the human body has auras well the aura can throw off negative vibes too There's been people, they, they've told me, I don't even vibe from you, man. Well, guess what? And you got something wrong with you that is not right. Because quite a few people out there are just, yeah. And let me tell you something else, people, before I wind up cutting this off. There is a side of me that I want to use for good. And I want to be positive. Like I've always been positive, but I want to do even more. <sighs> but again, it comes to a situation where I need support. <laughs> 